my November favorites. Let's go ahead and get into it. So I have been doing Vlogmas like crazy and I'm really enjoying it and a lot of you guys that usually don't, you guys are telling me that a lot of you guys don't usually watch vlogs but you're really enjoying it so I'm glad that you are and that was kind of the same for me. I didn't really get why people watch vlogs but last year I started just randomly watching a couple people's and I was like okay these are actually fun to watch it's really weird it really is weird so if you've never watched any you definitely should not necessarily you don't have to watch mine although it'd be awesome if you did but you don't have to but i mean just someone you really really like watch their vlogs you'd be surprised because it's really weirdly fun to watch their lives um and i always learn a lot from people's vlogs like just about random things like the way they do things i'm like oh i should try that in my own home you know things like that so I've really been enjoying that, which is why this November Favorites is so delayed because I've been kind of busy doing that, but I'm like, okay, I gotta refocus because makeup is my game, so I am back. The first thing I'm gonna show you is this little case for your beauty blender. I have been looking for something because if I travel with my beauty blender, I always feel gross putting it in my makeup bag and then zipping it right up, all wet and gross. But this way, there's little holes in the bottom so we can like breathe and still dry out. But it's got two little things on the side. It says everyday smile on the back and they've got a couple colors and it's just so cute. I was like, yes. So I thought, I think it can fit the Real Techniques one, this one. I mean, it should be able to fit any of those kinds of blenders. So it doesn't really matter what brand you have. Um, oh, I'm just now realizing I could put the everyday smiles with the face in the front, which is probably how it should be. I don't know. Anyway, I was impressed. It's a really simple idea, but kind of an important one if you've been looking for that. And it's adorable. So if you want to store your beauty blender in it, beauty blender, I can't say that, booty blender, and then just put it like over on your vanity, it's so adorable. So I think this is something that was very needed in this market. Awesome. Okay, another favorite is this mascara favorite. You guys... I have tried a lot of mascaras. This is one that was actually one of the very first high-end mascaras I ever purchased for myself way before I had a channel. And it's the Lancome Hypnose Drama. And I'd always heard it was amazing. Well, it is amazing. I cannot stress that enough. The br it's a simple brush. I mean, there's nothing crazy about the brush. It's not waterproof, which is good because waterproof and me just don't mix well. Um, it just stays put and it keeps my lashes curled and I've gotten more compliments on my lashes the past few weeks wearing this than I ever have in my life because it actually holds the curl, it separates, it doesn't clump, but it gives enough, I mean, I, I can't say enough good things about this. Everything I want my mascara to do, this does. That's all I'll say. So if you're wanting to splurge, I mean, you guys know I'm a drugstore girl, but when a product is amazing, I'm gonna tell you about it, whether it's expensive or cheap, and this is amazing. The next product is one that I think might be a dupe, but I want to do a dupes video on it. Um, this is the Sonia Kashuk Brightening Powder. And this was, I think, around $10 at Target. And it's just a powder that you can use to brighten any area of your face. It's a loose powder, very finely milled. It has kind of this sparkly quality to it, which I used to not like. There it is there. It's just kind of white, but you blend it. It really does brighten. I've been using it under my eye area and I just like it. Now, when you get up close, you can kind of see the sparkle. So if that's gonna bother you, then you would hate this. Don't even, don't even try. But it's so slight and it's so finely milled that I don't think it's obvious enough to turn too many people off. And it really does brighten. And I think that helps it brighten. So you could even use it down your nose right here. Um, I really was impressed. And I think it might be kind of a dupe for the Laura Mercier brightening powder, which I just got and you'll see in a haul soon. But I wanna, um, I wanna compare them and kind of put them to the test before I say that it's officially is. Okay, another favorite is, this is a rediscovered baby. This is the Milani Shadow Eyes. It's probably under $5, the shade is Almond Cream. And this I've had forever and it hasn't dried out, it sharpens easily. It's just a crayon and they have other colors. You probably can't even see it because it's pretty close to my skin tone. Um, but it is amazing at just a primer. I literally go do 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 and then just blend it all in. It gets rid of any discoloration on my lid, on my brow bone, anywhere. Then once I've done my eyeshadow, I'll put it right under my brow and just blend it in whether it's with a brush or my finger and it just really helps to define that area. 
You can also use it like on your lower lash line, like your lower waterline to make your eyes pop. There's so much you can do with this and it's so inexpensive. They have other colors, but this is just the one that over the years I've kept and loved. Another favorite is this blush. This is from Benefit and it's their blush called Dallas. It's kind of a bronzery blush color and that's what turned me off. And so I had tried all of, I think I tried almost all of the box blushes. This is the, I love them all. And that really is the truth. They're, they all stay, they're all beautiful, they smell nice, and the packaging's cute. It's got it all going for it, except for it's expensive. But this one is the first one that every time I put it on, I'm like, oh yeah, I like that. I'm wearing it today. It's very natural, but you can also glam it up. But I like this because when I'm wanting to go crazy with my highlighter, or my bronze or whatever, I can wear this and know that the blush isn't gonna combat with it. So for that reason alone, I loved this, but I just like it. I traveled with it. It might be the blush I bring with me to London, which that says a lot because I'm gonna pick something that I adore. Anywho, next favorite. This Milani Amore Matte Lip Cream. I thought I was gonna say it the wrong way there. I have it in the shade Lust 04, and it's this beautiful pink. I'm not wearing it today. I know it looks kind of similar to what I'm wearing. I'm wearing Revlon lipstick in pink in the afternoon, but it is such a beautiful lip color. It dries pretty matte. Um, I would say it dries completely matte, um, or at least to a semi-matte. It's not dry now. I love the color. These are so comfortable on my lips. I've been looking for a matte lip cream that's comfortable, and this one is. So I want to still get other shades, but they're hard to find around me. So, um, But I love it. Super impressed, and it smells nice. And isn't the packaging just, like, classy? I love that. Next favorite is, if you've seen my winter, like, secret weapons video for dry skin, I've talked about this. Um, Skin and Navy actually sponsored that video, but they don't know I'm making this one. This is a favorite of mine, you guys. It's their primer spray. And I have struggled with primers for so long because I would use, you know, like regular silicone primers or like lotiony primers. And it just, I felt like it never did anything. Like I would put it on and think, oh, so and so says this is amazing, so it must be. So I put it on and then I put my foundation on. And I'm like, no, that didn't look good. Next day I try it a different way. I've just never been impressed. And I'm like, why do people wear primers every day? I just, and so I just wouldn't wear them. Well, this stuff, like you spray it on your face and it, it's almost like it kind of makes your skin look a little bit better, like a little less red, but then you let it dry and then you put your foundation on and it just sticks to it and it doesn't move. And then their finishing spray, which I've always liked, I wasn't going to mention it in this video because I, I just always already liked this and already shared that with you guys, but then you spray that on top of it after you've done your makeup and I use both today. I've used both every day for the past couple of weeks. They're amazing. and. Ah, I can't say enough. I won't talk about it anymore because I, I've already done like a lot of talk about it. It's amazing. Two more favorites. So <laughs> this Wet n Wild by Fergie highlighter. This is called Hollywood Boulevard. And every time I saw this in stores, I was like, no, like I'm gonna hate that. Cause it's like yellow and pink and got little bits of brown. I'm like, that would not mesh with my skin at all. I was wrong. Because it, first of all, it's a huge pan. It's really inexpensive. It's crazy glittery, but you can blend it to be so nice. It looks dark, but when you're putting it on with a brush, it just looks so beautiful. Gosh, I swear, oops, I just mixed some of the lipstick in with it. I swear Wet n Wild makes some of the best highlighting powders. It's so funny, but they really do. This one and the Reserve Your Cabana one that I love. They're both two of my favorites, and they're both by Wet n Wild. So this is one that I was impressed with. It just looks nice. It can look patchy if you're not careful. So I usually use a very, like a smaller, more precise brush to get it where I want it, and then use a different brush to blend it. That way it's not just blending everywhere, um, because it, it is so shimmery, but it's beautiful. And speaking of shimmer, my last favorite is this MAC Pigment in Vanilla. I wore this, um, I've been wearing it a lot lately. I like to spray, like use a, a setting spray, on my brush and then dip it in here and it's just a loose pigment. It's really, really a glittery white pigment. And this size is only like, I think it was like 10 bucks. And then I am never gonna go through this. I mean, you use so little of it and I'm not big on pigments. I don't think I own any other ones right now. I think I got rid of them all because I wasn't using them. But this one, I'm so impressed with. I'm wearing it today on my lid, although it's kind of packed on top of a lot of other colors. I was just playing while I'm getting ready today. Anyway. So impressed with the color, and if you wear it on its own, 
Um, it's just this stark, beautiful, just astounding, glittery white. It's beautiful and it's so perfect for the holidays. So those are all of my favorites for this month. I hope you enjoyed. I'll have links for everything down below and I would love to know what your favorites are. If you would comment below with whatever you've been loving this month, I think we would all like to see that. If you enjoyed, I hope you'll subscribe to my channel and I'll catch you guys in my next video. Bye!